This morning, I just want to bring a simple word of encouragement to us, encouraging us in our pursuit of God, in knowing God. So I will title my message this morning as Knowing Him Intimately. It's good to know the Ten Commandments, but it's better to know the heart of God. To know Him intimately also means to know His ways. His ways are ways of truth. His ways are ways of justice. His ways are ways of compassion. His ways are ways of mercy. To know Him intimate, intimately also means to know His power. So how great God is. You know, how big, how powerful, how wonderful He is. It's also to know that, to know Him. The Bible says, Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, the latter part of that verse, it says, The people who know their God shall be strong and do great exploits. So our true strength comes from knowing God. When you know Him, there is strength in you, inside you. So the Bible is full of stories of men and women who did great things. And where did they get that strength from? Their strength came from knowing I want us to understand that there is a very, very, very simple secret to know him. Very simple. There's nothing complicated. No magic formula. To know him, we must pursue him. So in Jeremiah chapter 29, I think verses 12 and 13, he says, says it like this. Then you will Call upon me and go and pray to me. And I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me. When you search for me with all your heart. To know him intimately. Pursue him intently. That means with focus. The psalmist captured it like this. He said, Psalm 27 verse 4 and 8. He says, one thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. The psalmist said, I will gaze on the beauty of the Lord. I mean, I'm intent. I'm focused. I'm keeping all distractions away. One thing. I desire it. One thing I will seek. That I may gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. And notice what Hosea says in Hosea chapter 6 and verse 3. He put it like this. He says, let us know. Let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. So let's go after this. Let's pursue knowing him. Let's pursue. His going forth is established as the morning. That is, when we pursue knowing him, his response is certain. As certain as the morning comes. There's no doubt about it. There's no question on this. His going forth is established as the morning. What's his response? He will come to us like the rain. So when we pursue knowing him, what's his response? And this is a very definite response. He will come to us like the rain. Rain that brings refreshing. Rain that brings renewing. Rain that brings reviving. To know him, we must pursue him. But here's how we must pursue him. We must pursue him passionately, wholeheartedly, intently, earnestly, sacrificially, and expectantly. Pursue him like this. And he will do amazing things through our lives. Mm -hmm.